जय हिंद टू ऑल इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बुलियन अलजब्रा दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ यूनिट थ्री ओके सो आई कोमल रानी फ्रॉम असिस्टेंट फ्रॉम अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज सो लेट्स डिस्कस द बुलियन अलजब्रा सो व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द बुलियन अलजब्रा सो ए लेटेस्ट सो अ लेटेस्ट इज सेड टू बी अ बुलियन अलजब्रा इफ इट इज बोथ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड or a non empty set b with two binary operation addition and the multiplication so a unary operator complement and two distinct element 0 and 1 is called the boolean algebra so what we discussed here in boolean algebra we deals with the two values or that is equal to 0 and 1 or we can say that the true value or the false value so boolean algebra is denoted by capital b here two operator addition and dot and here two values exist either is 0 or and the one so this is the notation of any boolean algebra so for boolean algebra there are very axioms of boolean algebra so let's discuss different types of axioms so if a b c belongs to boolean algebra so here the three elements contained this uh, boolean algebra that is equal to a b c so what ex first axiom says that that is the commutative law that means if a plus b is equal to b plus a that means equal to 0 plus 1 that must be equal to 1 plus 0 or 0 dot 1 that must be equal to 1 dot 0 Okay, so what is the value here? That is equal to one, and what is the value here? That is equal to zero. So both the cases, this follows the commutative law. So we can say that first example says that of Boolean algebra that the two variables are commutative in nature. So next, let's discuss the second example that is equal to distributed law. So what's the distributed law say that if a either operator either addition or the multiplication b dot c is distributed in nature that is equal to a plus b dot a plus c okay so if here the addition is distributed over the multiplication here the multiplication is distributed over the addition okay so what you will get that is equal to a dot b and a dot c and the third law is the identity law what identity law says that whatever the element here so in case of addition zero is the identity element the, why zero is the identity element because if the a values is 1 the answer must be equal to 1 if a value is 0 the answer will be zero so whatever the value of a the identity doesn't affect identity element that element that doesn't affect the identity of an element okay so in case of addition zero doesn't affect the identity of an element so that's why zero is known as the identity element in case of the addition and here if a value is zero the value is equal to 0 a value is 1 the value is 1 so here in case of multiplication one doesn't affect the identity of an element so that's why in case of multiplication the identity element is equal to a 1 okay next is the complement law so what's the complement says that if the element and its complement will give you the identity okay so here in case of addition you know that the identity element is zero so this is the identity element and in case of multiplication the identity element is equal to 1 so a dot a inverse always gives you a 1 so next is the basic theorems okay so let's Let's consider three variables a, b, c. Where we used one variable, we will use one. Where we need two variable, we will use two variable a and b. Where we will use three variable, we can use 
three variables. So let's initially we describe A, B, C belongs to Boolean algebra. And the first theorem is says that idempotent law. So what is idempotent law? An element with itself in any operation will gives you the actual value. Okay, like A plus A gives you A. A dot A is equal to A because in Boolean algebra there is always two operator addition and the multiplication. So whenever the multiplication and addition apply, it will give itself. Then we say that this is a idempotent law. Okay. Suppose value here A one one, it will give one. If value is zero, it will give zero. So nothing will be changed here. Here one plus one. Uh, don't becomes two because we deals with the two variables zero and the one. Okay. Next is bound boundedness law. So what boundedness law? There is no boundary. Okay. So whatever the value of a is zero or one, the answer will become one because we have added one. Similarly, so what is in case of multiplication, whatever be the value of a it can be 0 and 1 it always will give you 0 because it is multiply with the 0 okay so 1 dot 0 will become the 0 and 0 dot 1 will also become the 0 the third law is the absorption law so what absorption law says that a plus a dot b these element are absorbed in that that we that why we will call it absorption slow. Okay, this value are absorbed in itself. So here we have taken the value of a is equal to 0. So 0 plus 0 dot b. b a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1. So whatever the value we get that is equal to 0. So if we have taken a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0. So whatever we get that is equal to 1 plus 1 dot 0 that is equal to 1 okay so any four combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 you apply you will get this value only so that why we will say that this is absorption slow because these values are absorbed in this element the next law is a associative law so what is associative law in associative law, we will use the same operator. If we will use addition, we will use addition throughout. If we will use multiplication, we will use multiplication throughout. Okay. But in case of distribution, we use here the two different operator. Either plus here and star here or in the star here and the plus here. So this is the only difference between the associative law and the distributed law. Okay. So, if you calculate these value and then add this value, which give you the same result if you calculate this value and add to the this value. Okay. So, whatever be the value of A, B, C of the 8 combination, okay, the answer becomes same. So, that is that is why we will call it associative. This is the associative law. Next is uniqueness of the complement for every operator unique identity element or complement elements are unique okay so whatever we add this complement the value will become one in case of addition okay and whatever the complement right here the value will become zero so here x is equal to a inverse or a inverse is denoted as the complement of x so next is the involution law. So what this law says that inverse of inverse is the element itself. Okay, this is the A inverse. If we will further inverse that, we will get the actual variable. Whatever the value of that variable, that is known as the involution law. And the next is the complement law. So complement law says that 0 complement is equal to 1. So, next is the de Morgan's law that is equal to A plus B complement is equal to A complement and the B complement. Okay. So, what is de Morgan's law? If complement of this element that will become the complement and this operator will become the change here. Okay.
so if addition the operator will become the multiplication if multiplication the operator will become the addition so let's discuss how to prove this idempotent law okay so firstly a plus a is equal to a so right hand side we will add this either use the identity law okay so you just add the identity that is equal to 0 so what's identity will give you the complement complement and its element will gives you the identity element so you will write here using the complement law okay then you will distribute using distributor law you will distribute okay so you can say that we have taken the right hand side a plus 0 so 0 is the identity element then we apply the complement law a dot a inverse then we will distribute this value okay so a plus a so a plus a is equal to a plus a and dot a plus a inverse okay this a plus a will give you the a an element with its identity will give you the identity element that is in case of addition one okay so this is the way how to find this starting from a and we will reach here a plus a dot 1 that is equal to a plus a okay so this is the way you will prove that a plus a or idempotent law so next let's discuss a dot a this is also an idempotent law so again you have taken the left hand side okay now use the identity law from identity law use the complement law here okay then you will take the distributed law so a becomes common then a plus a inverse then this 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 complement law says that a plus a inverse is equal to 1 so you will write here 1 and this is the right hand side from left hand side you will reach at the right hand side by using different laws so this is the way how to prove the idempotent law next is boundless law boundless law says that a plus 1 whatever the value of a the value will become the 1 and a dot 0 whatever the value of a it will become the 0 so let's discuss the right hand side starting from the right hand side 1 now using complement law a plus a inverse is equal to 1 okay now using identity law a plus a inverse dot 1 is equal to a dot 1 is equal to a okay so now you will distribute so a plus a inverse and a plus 1 okay a plus a inverse will give you the 1 using complement law okay then a plus 1 using commutative law a dot b is equal to b dot a so here complete will become the b value so you will reach at a plus b so this is the way how to uh, right hand side will become the left hand side now a dot 0 okay so a dot 0 is equal to using complement law a dot 0 is equal to 0 so a dot inverse a inverse that is equal to 0 now a inverse if you addition identity law a inverse plus 0 that will become the a inverse okay now you will distribute the value a dot a inverse and a dot 0 so this a dot a inverse will give you the identity element you will become the now you use use the commutative law a plus b is equal to b plus a now 0 addition of 0 commutative law okay now x identity law so a dot 0 is equal to 0 so this is the way how to find the boundless law so next is absorption law okay so absorption law says that let two elements are belongs to boolean algebra a addition a dot b is equal to a so from left hand side this is the left hand side okay so a plus a dot b so what you using identity law you can use a dot 1 is equal to a okay then you will use distributed law so a dot 1 plus a 
now you can use commutative law in that so 1 plus b is equal to b plus a okay now you use use a boundless law b plus 1 that is equal to 1 so this is the way you will using different law solve the absorptions law so this is the others when dot is distributed over addition okay so we have to take us here so let's take in the left hand side so you just add this zero that is identity law you just add the identity element okay so now you use distributed law so a common plus zero dot b and zero dot b can be written as b dot zero by using commutative law and b dot zero is become the zero using boundless law and you will reach at the a element this is the way you will use this Avrosius law now next is the associative law so associative law where you have to take on the three variables a b c that belongs to the capital b so a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c so if you source this value and add this value the answer will become same that is equal to if you solve this value and add with that value okay so let's discuss a plus b plus c so starting from the right hand side so we have taken that right hand side so what we use we use the identity law dot one okay so identity by using complement law element and its inverse will be give you the identity that is equal to 1. Now you use the distributed law. Firstly this C is distributed over the whole and then C dash C complement is distributed over that. And then by using commutative law A dot B is equal to B dot A. Okay similarly here then you will apply the distributed law C dot A plus C dot B, B plus C okay similarly c dot a and c dot b plus c okay so this is the absorption slow so c dot b plus c will give you the c okay now c complement plus c bar b plus c so c dot a dot plus c using commutative law and absorption law will become the c and the right hand side is becomes like that okay now it will be distribute this c complement dot b plus c complement dot c okay now c complement dot a c complement dot b c complement dot c and c complement dot c will become the identity element zero okay so c plus c complement dot a c complement dot b so last in last using identity law you will distribute law c bar will become common dot a plus b so then c plus c bar dot c plus a plus b and c plus c bar will complement law that will become always one so what you get here using commutative law a dot b is equal to b dot a so here this is the way you will prove the distributed law okay the similar way you will apply for the dot okay if the operator is product okay in previous slide we discussed how to find how to prove when the operator is addition and this is your homework how to find the associative law using the product. Now this is a very much important theorem uniqueness of complements. What this theorem says that so prove that the complement of every element on a boolean algebra is unique that is the theorem says that for every element the element inverse will be or element complement will be unique okay so for that we have to take on two different inverse and finally we prove that these two different elements are actually same okay that's the way how to prove that 
द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ एवरी एलिमेंट यूज नहीं ओके तो कंसिडर एन एलिमेंट ए बिलोंगिंग्स टू बी ओके तो लेट ए हैज टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट ए डैश एंड ए डबल डैश सो वट वी डू सो वी जस्ट अप्लाई दिस विथ बोथ ऑपरेटर ओके तो वी अप्लाई विद एडिशन ए एडिशन ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट और ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट एडिशन ए दैट विल गिव यू द आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट एंड इन केस ऑफ आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट दैट इज वन एंड सिमिलरली ए प्रोडक्ट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्रोडक्ट ए विल गिव यू द आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट एंड इन केस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट द आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो सिमिलर वी द सेकेंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट वी कंसिडर हेयर ए डबल डैश ओके सो ए प्लस ए डबल डैश एंड ए डबल डैश प्लस ए विल गिव यू द आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट सिमिलरली ए डोट ए डबल डैश एंड ए डबल डैश डोट ए विल गिव यू द आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट सो वी नो दैट दीज आर नोट डिफरेंट बट इक्वल सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट ए डैश मस्ट बी इक्वल टू ए डबल डैश फॉर यूनिकनेस ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो वट वी डू we start from the left hand side and reach at the right hand side so let's start from the left hand side a complement so a complement dot identity no problem using identity lo we will write here a complement dot identity so identity we have to take on this okay identity can be this and can be this so we put it there a plus a double dash okay so now using the distributed law a dash dot a a dash dot a double dash now a dot a dash will become zero okay by using complement law so what we left that is equal to a dash dot a double dash so here zero can be replaced with a dot a double dash okay so here a dot a double dash a dash dot a double dash so what we do here by using the distributed law we a double dash will become the common a plus a bar so a plus a bar will become the one okay so here one dot a double dash so here we what we find that what we found that is equal to a double dash so we starting from the a dash and reached at the a double dash so what we conclude here these two different complement we considered at starting that are not actually different that are actually same okay so this is the proof of how to find the unique complement that means complement of every element is on a boolean algebra is always unique in nature so next is involution law how to find the involution law so if b is a boolean algebra then a complement is equal to a where a complement double complement is equal to a complement and complement that is the involution law complement of complement or inverse of inverse that is equal to actual value so what you get a dash is nothing but the actual variable that is equal to a so we have to prove that a double dash is equal to a double dash stand for here double inverse a inverse and a inverse so by using the identity law a double dash plus zero okay zero is the identity element here now a double dash so identity is equal to a dot a dash by using the complement law now using the distributed law a complement plus a dot a complement double complement plus a bar okay so a complement double complement plus a first complement that means this is the a inverse that is equal to a actual value that will give you the one that is using the complemented law okay so one can be written as a and its complement and a or then a double complement so what we do using the distributed law a will become common a double complement and the a complement so by using this you, this will become the zero okay by using this by using identity law so you will get the a so what's the involutions 
said that that is equal to complement of complement is equal to element x itself. That is the proof how to find the involution law. Next is complement law. So, let us again take in the Boolean algebra. Okay. So, 0 complement is equal to 1 and 1 complement is equal to 0. So, what is 0 plus 0 complement plus 0 using identity element? What is the 0 complement? That is equal to 1. Okay. So, here and we have taken 1 complement. 1 complement dot 1 using identity law. Using commutative law 1 dot 1 complement that is equal to 0. So, this is the way you prove that complements law that is 0 inverse is equal to 1 and the 1 inverse will become the 0. So, the last is the de Morgan's law. So, what is de Morgan's law tells? It says well, if complement of the whole value, it will become the complement of the individual value. But the situation change here, addition will become the product. Okay. So, what we taken here? A plus B complement plus A complement dot B complement is equal to 1. Okay. And A plus B is equal to A complement dot B complement is equal to 1. Okay. Either you can go for this, either you can go for this. Addition for addition and the for multiplication. Okay. So, here we have taken A plus B complement is equal to A complement dot B complement. So, for proof we have to show that A plus B or A complement dot B complement is equal to 1. That means these two are the identity element. If this is one element, this is the inverse of identity element. If this is the element and its inverse will always gives you the identity element in case of the addition and element and its inverse will give you the identity element that is 0 in case of the addition. So, let us discuss the start from the left hand side a plus b row b is equal to a complement and b complement. Here we have taken complete this a and this is b and this is a ok. So, a plus b plus a bar using distributed law and a plus b plus B complement. Now, using commutative law, these exchange their position and these also exchange their position. So, what now using the distributed law A dash plus A associative law and then plus B, A plus B plus B complement. So, what we find A plus A complement is equal to 1, B plus B complement is equal to 1. So, that is equal to B plus B dot A. So, what is the boundless law says that 1 plus b is equal to 1 whatever be the value of b ok and similarly 1 plus a is equal to 1 whatever be the value of a. So, it does not depend on the value of a and b. So, 1 dot 1 is equal to 1. So, this is the way. So, in the way how to find how to prove that de Morgan's law. For de Morgan's law, you have to prove that this is the element and this is the inverse of that element. Element and inverse will gives you the identity element. Okay. So, hope so you understand what are the different Boolean algebra, Boolean expression and what are the different operators we use and what are the different axioms, different law. Okay. So, thank you.